Hakukomba. <laughs> Once upon a time, in the land of animals, a young but inexperienced lion was the king. Within this period came a serious famine like never before. The lion called for an emergency meeting and invited only his peers. They called themselves the future generation and claimed they must stay alive by killing and eating their parents. <laughs> A squirrel rushed home and narrated the evil plot to his mother. Together they planned for her escape. In the middle of the night, she escaped into the thick dark forest where she climbed into the sky and he herself there. Hmm. After a while, the animals found themselves hungry again. To their dismay, killing their parents did not solve the problem. And lion started eyeing who to eat next. Hmm. Since I had hotel sack meal, and I'm beginning to grow thin, feeling of scraps and tiny muscles. I need something big. I need something crunchy. I need something delicious. I need something like you. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, your highness, <laughs> you, 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 everybody knows I'm ugly. Even you have got me ugly many times. <laughs> I know. I'm but it's a good day. All sorts of disease. <laughs> I Don't worry. With a little spicy sprinkled here and there, I'm sure you will fit just fine for delicious. Uh, I, I am not delicious. I COVID. Everything is uh, inside my body, Highness. <laughs> you, you don't want to eat me, <laughs> you know. Um, but your Highness. <laughs> I'm your humble servant, you know. Your highness, I understand. <laughs> your highness. But uh, there is an alternative, your highness. <laughs> Why don't you eat this krell? <laughs> his, his meat is good, and uh, you know, the hunters are always hunting his type. <laughs> it shows that he, the statistics show that he, he's good. You know, I'm just saying to remind you if you have forgotten. Very nice fish meat. <laughs> well, this krell isn't he, here at the moment, is it? Likes me now. <laughs> it soon dawned on them that only squirrel looks well fed and always play happily. Tortoise decided to find out why and started tracking squirrel's movement. Mommy drop that rope. Your son is very hungry. Mommy drop that rope. Your son is very hungry. Zawam. Very hungry. Zawam. Very, very hungry. Zawam. Drop the rope, baby. You will soon drop the rope now. <laughs> my God has cut him today. Did we see my hand? 
authorities discover what they didn't know before. Squirrel's mother had been cooking for his son while hiding in the sky. Every day, Squirrel climbs up to eat her food. So Tortoise informed Lion and they decided to fake Squirrel's voice. Your son is very hungry. Mommy, drop that rope. Your son is very hungry. Zawam. Very hungry. Zawam. Very, very hungry. Zawam. Squirrel discovered what was happening. Around to stop them. Mommy cut that rope. Lion is climbing. Mommy cut that rope. Lion is coming. Zawam, lion we kill you. Zawam, they want to kill you. Zawam. Squirrel's mother immediately discovered that the first voice was fake. And she was in danger. She quickly cut the rope. And Tortoise fell down and broke his chair. Oh. If you like this video and want to enjoy more episodes of Akokombe, visit our website floatingingrace.com and click on animation. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel Fig Animation. You can also search Akokombe on YouTube. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.